and renew in us the power of your Holy Spirit. Destroy the lies and deception plaguing those who say they are rich and in need of nothing. Show them they are wretched, miserable, poor, blind and naked. Bring us into your wilderness and teach us your ways, O Lord. Pull the rug out from the unholiness of the Laodicean church and revive your people through conviction and repentance. Bring us into the wilderness and remind us of the true power of your presence, the power to shake the earth. Tear away the chains of bondage and remove the veil from your temple, rebuilding it in our hearts. The power of your Holy Spirit to break your prisoners free from captivity and to heal the lame. Convict this powerless breed of Christianity polluting your holy name with vain deceit and trickery. An unrefined people proclaiming false gifts and empty promises, deceived by demons and not even aware, the blind leading the blind to their eternal destruction. Remove the veil from them and expose their nakedness and shame, O oh Lord. Perhaps then they will turn and repent and once again become your people. Fill us with the fear of proclaiming, Thus saith the Lord. When you have not said, Thus saith the Lord. For when you truly do say, Thus saith the Lord, then we will know. Build in us such faith in you that we will proclaim your word to all the earth, regardless of persecution, mockery, rejection, shame or even death for in God I will praise his word in the Lord I will praise his word in God I have put my trust I will not be afraid what man can do unto me in the wilderness we will learn from you alone O Lord our teacher in the wilderness, you will prepare us for victory. Victory through your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, which you shed on Calvary. Your blood which has defeated the enemy as your Father resurrected you from death to eternal glory. In the wilderness, we will not be taught in theological colleges and given paper degrees. A mess that has torn away your and turn hearts to stone. The stones which have become elaborate buildings that people have named churches but are not. For you do not dwell in buildings built by man, O oh Lord. Tear down their walls and leave not one stone upon another, lest they rebuild yet again with defiance and stubborn rebellion. Rejoicing.